Namaste viewers. Uh, welcome back. So we have seen how the planets got created. Uh, we have seen uh, how the moon got created. We have, uh, we have uh, presented uh, uh, how the tilt of the earth occurred. Now in this video, I am going to tell you something which has not been found so far. And uh, this video is going to prove the divine revelation of Vedas from a scientific thought process, right? From a logic and a reasoning. Have you ever wondered why uh, one year has like 12 months or some 360 some number of days? 365 1 by 4, right? Number of days. Why the clock has like 12 sections? Why it has 60 minutes, right? All these questions, correct? Why circle is of 360 degrees? So in order to understand such questions and find the answer, right, of these questions, let's start with this journey. This is called solar year riddle, okay? So Rig Veda Mantra 1.164.11. What does it say? Dwada sharam nahi tajraya varvarti chakram paridham ratasya aputra mithunaso atra sapt shatani so in this mantra what is happening the literal meaning is uh, so there is a, the wheel of law in this mantra with 12 spokes okay uh, which goes round and round okay it is not intended to be decayed so here there is a agni in this mantra and the mention is of 720 sons in pair what can be 720 sun? I don't think anyone can have 720 sun, right? So let's go quickly with word by word meaning. Again, Vedic mantras are not made to be interpreted single handedly, which means you cannot consider one mantra standalone. There is a whole like sequence of mantras. And finally, you come up with a big scientific uh, meaning, which is uh, inside the mantra. So here, when we say Dwad Sharam, right? So what we are saying Dwad Sharam, 12 spokes, okay, divided into 12. Nahi, not indeed, right? Then uh, here uh, the next is uh, Tat, which is it. Uh, jaraya means for decay. Uh, then uh, the next is uh, Varvarti. So Varvarti means Vrat. There is a root in this, okay, Vrat. There is a root to go round. So to go round again. So if we understand, like if you consider this as an earth, uh, so to go around, right? Then you have uh, chakram. Chakram is nothing uh, but uh, the wheel here. Then pari, so pari is around again. Then you have uh, them, that is have heaven here mentioned. Again, <clears throat> as I mentioned in the previous video, here in this mantra, there is ritasya. So rit, rit is there, rit here means again it can be moral law but here it is uh, look mentioning about uh, <coughs> motion again here right then uh, you have a uh, which means uh, basically it goes with tachu in the end uh, uh, this is a proposition is kept detached detached from the war here then you have putra which is sun agni oh fire now agni here is uh, again referred to as sun in this mantra then you have mitnushaha mitnushaha right so there means here it is referring to pair so there are like two things pair it's a pairing pairing going it's a plural form in the veda okay then you have atra atra means here this must be in the wheel in the wheel here sapta means seven uh, which we already know uh, satani is hundred and uh, you have then uh, vinashti right 20 okay vinashti is 20 then ka end here then you have uh, tatsu right so it means uh, have been standing right or stand so this is a finite verb uh, in a principal clause correct so 1.164.11 remember here what we have seen there are like uh, 12 uh, uh, kind of something mentioned as 12 uh, which are spokes of a wheel then you have 720 sun in this mantra. Similarly, 1.164.12, very important. There it is mentioned about six season on the planet Earth. Okay. 
then after that you have you have uh, <clears throat> another mantra which is 1.164.48 so we will take these mantras together and then finally come to these uh, to the meaning and we will find what is hidden the hidden jewel so here it is dwadash pradyash chak mekam treni nabhyani ka utachi keta tasmin sakam trishatana shankavo arpita shashthirna chala chalsa so in this mantra what is happening here is 12 spokes one wheel three navel as i already explained right three navel is nothing but an ellipse right no who can know this uh, together like poles 360 have been placed so very important point viewers 360 have been placed and they don't shake okay devadasa here is 12 your uh, paradhya is your spoke chakram is your wheel as i have already explained ekam is one then trini is three nabhyani is navel uh, then you have uh, k Uh, k means uh, who basically it is an interrogative interrogative sense u is indeclinable uh, indicating some emphasis is being given here tat means that okay chiketa is uh, has known tasmin is in that okay uh, then sakam is together so sakam is together here and uh, tristha is 300 na is like and sankavah means uh, places so shasti is six here okay so sasti is 6 here yes and arpita have been placed right N then uh, last like chala chala shah means uh, not not shaking not intensely shaking not at least shaking right so in this mantra we are talking about kal as i mentioned in uh, mantra 1.164.12 which i have not uh, um, spoken here there are six uh, season in hindu calendars right so what are those six one is vasant ritu vasant is your spring then you have grishma ritu which is summer then you have varsha ritu which is monsoon then you have sharad ritu which is autumn then you have pre winter which is nothing but hemant and then you have uh, shishir or i think uh, shita ritu right which is uh, again your winter with uh, that said let's see what is the meaning of uh, the mantra here this is very interesting right now number 12 here refers to the 12 spokes which is nothing but your 12 uh, zodiac sign right you have like in english you call virgo uh, sagittarius uh, pisces and all that right they similarly they, they have their hindi corresponding names like uh, kanya uh, kumb and all that right so they are basically 12 with those 12 came 12 number of months in a year right three navels are basically three center of the elliptical orbit which i have already explained in uh, my other videos 12 is your zodiac signs 12 on your number of months 360 here men is mentioned that 360 days uh, earth used to take around sun so earth used to rotate around sun in 360 days and 720 are <clears throat> the number of days of the year okay so if you consider like a day and night the pair 360 multiplied by 12 2 is 720 okay so which fixed the span of the year to 360 days this 360 is again responsible for sexagesimal system so uh, friends uh, very important point here right so 360 uh, is responsible for sexagesimal system which was followed by uh, ancient uh, babylonian civilizations sumerians even egyptians right so if you see what they came up with is 60 base 60 everything divided by 60 now if you see what is happening in these vedic mantras right you have 360 uh, number of days you have 720 day and pair right so 720 divided by 360 okay so how much it comes right so 720 divided by 360 is 2 now there is another, the mantra mentions about six seasons so 360 divided by 6 so now it's a circular motion of 360 degree 360 divided by 6 gives 60 so if you see each circle is can be divided into 60 60 60 60 right okay so you have how much 360 divided by 6 is 60 degree so 60 came as the base similarly 720 divided by 60 how much it will be 120 right 120 times 3 is again 360 so if you see the total which is uh, your 720 
again it is divided by 60 360 is divided by 60 and if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 six numbers you can have 60 divided basically as a uh, can be divided by 1 to 6 numbers right similarly on the fingers if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 till 12 on one one hand you can count 12 again 60 can be divided by 12 so 60 became a common factor here right so if you consider a clock right so 720 from vedas went into the clock or the sundial even right uh, you can study about this uh, even in uh, some hindu scriptures which were created after vedas so 720 if you split it into 12 you have to put 60 60 60 which becomes your one hour similarly every hour they put uh, minute right that is again 60 minutes and 60 seconds so 60 was considered as a common factor before further the time is split into uh, decimal like base 10 which i will explain in a, some other video so 60 came out as the fa factor as a sexagesimal uh, system so so interesting right like 360 degrees but modern day science says the earth take 365 1 by 4 days we will find out where this 5 1 by 4 comes into the picture uh, so far the vedas have explained that 360 degree this is why the angular distance covered by the earth around the sun before the moon was born became exactly equal to one degree of arc per day. Very important concept. It has never been mentioned anywhere, not even in modern science, right? So when the moon came out, so this moon, when it came out, right? Before that, it was inside the earth. The earth used to take 360 degrees. That's why the great sage who is meditating and who is going like millions of years back he is seeing this in real time in vedas right can anyone even think about this why this 360 we study in math right you might have studied in geometry one angle is basically 360 degree 180 180 right and so can anyone think why circle is 360 why every angle is 360 right the reason is given in the vedas because before moon came out it was 360 degree so everyone used to consider because the whole humanity used to follow vedas initially it doesn't matter which civilization it was vedas don't belong to a particular sect or a particular religion it was the book or you can say it is the knowledge or the wisdom which was given by the sages to all the people on this planet earth right so <clears throat> that was the reason like 360 became the base and 60 became the base okay now later on it came to 365 1 by 4 which i'm going to explain uh, later on now this is the number uh, which is responsible for fixing the unit of time in such a way that how our which is uh, one twelfth part of the day or night is equal to 3600 seconds okay if we consider 365 1 by 4 then this development will not be possible what will happen if you consider 365 1 by 4 everything will break right you cannot divide it by 12 you cannot divide it by 60 so it's not going to work right we are going to see the science or the fact behind 5 1 by 4 later on not in this video so as you might have seen uh, uh, friends 360 came from the vedas the circle has 360 it can be divided into equal arc that is one degree arc we all have learned in geometry uh, 360 this itself proves a divine creation of vedas as how can someone even think the correct number of days of solar year before the moon was born except without i don't think without a divine revelation this can happen mantra shows rishi basically got it through spiritual revelation it was like as if a great sage is looking millions of years back to watch in real life what is happening right how can he see that moon is inside and 360 degree rotation is going on we have seen how 60 60 sexagesimal system came into place you can see how inspiring in vedas and it is in vedas and why vedas are the fountain uh, head of all the philosophies it it's really a work of divine creation it is like i can i can easily say the biggest intellectual feat pales into insignificance before such a spiritual excellence with that i say thank you to all you have learned why there is 360 degree in a circle why there is 60 uh, everything is based on 60 you have a 60 uh, minutes in an hour why you have like 12 months in a year why there are 360 days there were 360 days in a year in the next part i have to do some mathematical calculations and i'll show you how this 5 1 by 4 came uh, from vedas okay Thank you. Namaste.